Hello again and welcome back to the Pottery Shop. We'll be making a luminary today, also known as a candle holder. Um, so I'm going to make two pieces uh, back to back and show you both parts. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with this piece of clay and it is a pound and a quarter. I'm going to open it twice. There in the back. Here we go. I use a centering tool most of the time. It helps uh, reduce some of the stress on my hands, my wrists, and it centers up super fast. So one day I'm going to go over all the tools that we use for mechanical advantage in here, but for today you can just see the little centering tool in action. So that's centered up and ready to go. Alright, now that I've got my centering down, you can fit, mash her out flat. Alright, so still pretty thick. Can I move my thumb out to the outside there? I'm going to smash that down. And then I'm going to work the middle. So I'm going to push this clay back towards the middle, make like its own little cone there in the center. Gonna open this. I'll make a little place for a tea light or a votive. Either one works good. Yeah, tea lights are a little less stress because they burn themselves out. And pull it up just a little bit. Pop that liquid out of the bottom and get a good compression in the center. These pieces do tend to want to get an S crack, so I do an extra amount of compression in the bottom. Okay, okay there's the middle done. Even bottom from the inside and the outside. And a little compression back to the center. And pull this little edge up. Alright, so the bottom pretty much done. Mop it. water off of the rim and my little piece of plastic that I like to use to smooth off the rim, round it out nice. And one around there. Boop. Around there. Good. Undercut. And the wire tool. Cut it off of there, just like so. Alright, this is, uh, been making these all day today. So, got tops and bottoms here behind me, but there you go. You can see a little place for the candle, and then 